Welcome back to Learn PHP on Code Academy. We're in the introduction of PHP functions. This is return values. The value returned from a function is just that, a value. This means it can be used in any manner we would normally use a value of that type. This can take some getting used to. Take a look at the following code. We have function return 5 and it returns 5. When we invoke return 5, it prints 5. In the code above, we define the silly function return 5. All it does is return the number 5. Then we used echo to print the invoked function. The way that the computer executes functions and handles their returns can take getting used to, but it's very similar to what we experience with numbers and variables. Here we have echo 5 plus 3, it'll print 8. Here we have num is assigned 5. If we echo num plus 3, it prints 8. If we echo return 5 plus 3, it prints 8. A computer evaluates 5 plus 3 to 8. In the same manner, when a computer encounters a function invocation, it will execute the code in the function's body and then evaluate to the function's return value. We need to think of functions as both what they do, the instructions in their code block, and what they return. Let's invoke more functions. Here we have our instructions that say, use echo to print the return values of each of the three provided functions in order. The challenge, you may not use more than one line of code or more than a single statement. Use only one semicolon. Note, you can add space, new line, or other characters in between the return values. Let's do that now. Let's go ahead and run that. We do pass, and we do get, you did it, you're amazing, you're a coding hero. So what we're learning here, more about return values. And the main thing is, a return value is exactly that, the value returned from a function. So this means it can be used in any manner we would use that type of data. In this instance, these were all strings, and we were able to use the concatenation operator on these strings. As it says, it might take some getting used to, but as long as you understand that the value returned from a function is just another value, and we can do with that value the same thing we would do with other values of that type, then you're understanding return values. Once you feel comfortable, I'll see you in the next one.